former Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions Kevin Steen and El Generico make their way to the ring to do battle with one of the most impressive tag team duos in 2009 across the wrestling scene in Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks. High Flyers out of California. But Kevin Steen, definitely the worst for wear, coming into final battle, battling severe knee injuries. Uh, and several doctors have advised him to not even be competing here tonight, that he needs surgery on that knee, but he's determined to stay at the side of his partner, El Generico, and fight and pull out a win here on Ring of Honor's final event of 2009. Now, this is certainly not the first time these two teams have met. In fact, they've met two times before, once at Contention in Manassas, Virginia, and once again in Novi, Michigan at Aries versus Richards. Now, the interesting part about that is the Young Bucks have come up short both times. They've had a lot of momentum, certainly in victories, like against the Dark City Fight Club on HDNet or defeating the Briscoes at Glory by Honor in September, but they have yet to beat this set of former ROH World Tag Team Champions. They said they wanted one more shot. They could do it if they get one more shot, but we saw last night in Manassas, Kevin Steen and El Generico came up short against Eric Stevens and Bison Smith at the Embassy, and it was in large part due to Kevin Steen's knee. Yeah, it had to do with Kevin Steen. So much damage done to that already injured knee last night. I have to question whether or not he should even be a part of this matchup. But, you know, we've said it on so many occasions, the wrestlers here in Ring of Honor uh, deal with the brutality inside the ring, the very hard-hitting style of ROH that this company has in many ways prided itself on, and the fact that sometimes the fighters do compete while injured, while not 100%. And despite not being 100%, Kevin Steen is still going out there to fight tonight. And, uh, you know, speaking of fighting while injured, uh, the last time we were here at the Manhattan Center, it was Ladder War 2 between Cena Generico and the American Wolves where Eddie Edwards battled despite having a broken elbow during that matchup and they still actually pulled out the victory despite having one and a half wrestlers on their team that night. Yeah, but the key difference is, is Eddie Edwards and the American Wolves by proxy were able to overcome that limitation. Kevin Steen hasn't really been able to do that the past couple months. The knee has really become an issue that's been a detriment to not just him, but now his partner too. Right now his partner trying to battle with Nick Jackson here. And it is the Young Bucks with the advantage at the moment. And Generico holding the back of his head. Generico basically at 100%. He's been battling knee problems himself uh, during recent months. But he's basically good to go here tonight. Well, Kevin Steen, uh, very serious as he made his way to the ring tonight. Obvious uh, signs of a little bit of depression just because of the fact that he wants to be at 100%. He wants to be able to pull out victories with ease. Uh, like he has done on so many occasions in the past. I think anytime you come up a loss going into the next match, you may be a little discouraged. And it obviously showed on Kevin Steen's face, being upset about the loss last night in Manassas. But he's got to keep focus. He's got to look forward because the Young Bucks would love to have another victory over former ROH Tag Team Champions under their belt. Shoulder tackle from Steen. He's able to hit those ropes without much problem, but oh, right there he came crashing down on that knee. And definitely favoring it right now. Question is, uh, will we see the Bucks actually target the knee, or will we see some sportsmanship, like the handshake we're seeing right now? But Kevin C, I don't think he trusted him. Slap across the face. So much for sportsmanship. Ah, vile, disgusting. Just put his gum in his mouth. A lot of spitting going on. Very unhygienic tag team action here at Final Battle. And now Kevin Steen and Matt Jackson exchanging blows in the center of the ring as Generico comes in and drop toe holds him. The front flip leg drop from Kevin Steen. He still had enough in his knee to get the momentum to curl his body weight over to get that front flip leg drop and still has plenty of snot left. 
Snot, spit, what else are we going to see here? He's a very disgusting individual, but very impressive inside that ring as well. As right now, it is Steen and Generico with the advantage. It's been quite the year for Matt and Nick Jackson, the young bucks throughout the world of professional wrestling really have made their mark in the ROH tag team division. The hottest tag team scene right now anywhere in wrestling is right now cover for Generico, but only a near fall. Not only these two teams, but uh, later on tonight, the Briscoes taking on the American Wolves, battling for the World Tag Team Championship. The Dark City Fight Club, Corey Chavis and John Davis, two very intimidating wrestlers. We've seen uh, Rhett Titus and Kenny King form a very impressive duo. Cheech and Cloudy up in smoke, uh, always trying to battle despite their size disadvantage, uh, much like the Young Bucks, using their quickness to their advantage to try to pull out some victories. They have a red-hot tag team scene, and everybody wants to be world tag team champions. Big backdrop by Kevin Steen. Goes for a pinfall. Only gets two, though. And biting away now, Kevin Steen. Trying to do some damage. Makes the tag. In comes Generico. Chooses to use professional wrestling instead. Taking a bite out of his other. That's the unorthodox way to get cauliflower ear. Or just completely lose one. But Generico with the chop across the chest of Matt Jackson. And once again, fighting him up. Sends him into the ropes. Ducks the clothesline attempt, grabs hold of the head. Standing sliced bread. Needs to make the tag. Nick Jackson waiting in the corner and is tagged in. Drop kicks Kevin Steen to the floor. There's Generico though. Gets elbowed. And a springboard swinging DDT. Only two though. Nick Jackson likes to use that spinning back elbow to change the momentum, and it usually works as it did here. And he takes him over now and wraps him up. He has the one arm trapped behind his back while keeping control of the other. Generico trying to extend the boot to reach the bottom rope to force a break. Not quite close enough just yet. And now he finally does reach the ropes and forces a break of the hole. Jackson stomping away on Generico, trying to maintain control of the matchup and keep Generico in the corner of the Young Bucks. Looks like Kevin Steen is trying to rally the New York crowd around El Generico. He's trying to fight back, but he just got stomped right in the arm. Looking to take away that limb from El Generico, focus on that arm. Trying to crawl his way toward Kevin Steen. Has his arm outstretched, not quite close enough to make that tag. Matt Jackson firing away on Generico in the corner. Set into the corner and hard, just collided with the turnbuckles and tumbled down to the mat. Cover. Generico able to kick out. And that was another shot from Matt Jackson. And this crowd, chancing Oleg, giving El Generico that encouragement. Jackson's keeping Generico in their corner. They need to cut that ring in half. It's good tag team wrestling. Keep him away from getting a fresh wrestler tagged in. Well, as fresh as Kevin Steen can be with that bad leg. Double teamwork from the box. Double team hip toss. Double drop kicks. Matt Jackson, the legal man, going for a pin. Only two. A bit of a pause before going for that cover. Could have cost them a the victory right there. You got to think whichever team pulls out the win in this matchup would be in line for a future World Tag Team title shot against either the Briscoes or the Wolves, whoever comes up the winners later tonight. 
Generico lands on his feet through the legs and makes the tag. Kevin Steen, the legal man. Going to work on both of the Jacksons. Double axe handles across the back, though. Young Bucks looking for some teamwork here on Steen. Double team hip toss. And the double drop kick. But Steen's back up and takes him down. Mr. Wrestling all fired up. He's in the corner, runs across, and hits a cannonball on Matt Jackson. Nick charges, elevated to the apron. But a DDT! He just drove him right down headfirst onto the canvas. One, two! Uh, wouldn't have surprised me if that was it. But only two. He got all of that DDT. Forearm shot from Steen. And again, off the ropes he comes, but grabbing hold of the leg from the floor was Matt Jackson. Here comes Generico, though. Launches off the back of his partner and soars to the floor, wiping out Matt Jackson. Very resourceful move by El Generico. Steen, pump handle neck breaker. The damage to his own knee in the process. Cover. Only two. Steen back to his feet. We're going to follow up with the package pile driver. No power bomb. He lands on his feet and nails Steen with the kick upside the head. Kevin Steen crumbles as in El Generico is looking for the tag now. Nick flips over and gets the tag to Matt. And Matt knocking Generico to the floor, leaving Steen inside the ring for the Young Bucks. Some teamwork coming up. Double knees to the back of Kevin Steen. Double stop, inverted DDT combination. Only two, Steen with the shoulder up. Despite that knee injury, Kevin Steen continuing to battle. Matt Jackson picking Kevin Steen up. We're going to send him across the ring, but has his arm hooked around the top rope to prevent the Irish whip. Ducks his head, pays the price, but no! Inverted lung blower, both knees right to the chest. Steen needs to make the tag here. Generico waiting. And there it is. Generico, the legal man, up top. Crossbody. Only two. El Generico was going for the half Nelson suplex, but the Jacksons take over. The Young Bucks have got the momentum now as Nick saves his partner. And He's going in, gets backdropped over the top, but lands on the apron. Nice springboard X-Factor. Went for the moonsault, but Kevin Steen pulled him to the floor. Powerbomb back first on the edge of the ring frame. Steen inside, Matt with the super kick. Generico, though, suplexes Matt into the turnbuckles. And Generico to his feet, all fired up. Going for the Yakuza kick. But Matt connects first. Wheelbarrow suplex position. Oh, drives Generico chest first. Steen breaks up the pin attempt. Nick Jackson's back in the ring, though, and tosses Kevin Steen outside. You can see some more high flying from the box. Steen back on his feet. Connects with the drop kick. And Nick Jackson soars over the top rope and wipes out Steen on the floor. Meanwhile, Matt to the top rope. Diamond dust by Matt Jackson. And he's signaling it's all over. Combination moonsault splash. Not enough to earn the victory. Generico with the shoulder up. That was close. That looked like three. Generico and Steen 
looking to defy the odds tonight despite Steen's knee injury and pull out the victory against one of the hottest tag teams in professional wrestling. Steen and Generico don't want to make it two New York losses in a row. Nick Jackson off the top rope, nobody home. Steen looking for the sharpshooter, but Matt comes to the aid of his brother. Steen's got him up though, fireman's carry, and dump to the floor. Nick Jackson in the ring alone with Steen and Generico, and he gets Yakuza kicked in the face. F. Nelson suplex, Steen to the top. Frog splash, cover. So close, but two and three quarters got that shoulder up at the last split second. Kevin Steen asked for the tag. Can't put any body weight on that bad knee, but still continuing to fight. Package pile driver. The package pile driver brainbuster combination. No. Forearms El Generico. Elbows Kevin Steen, Nick Jackson now. Reversal of the Irish whip, up and over in the corner. Super kick caught and kicks his own brother. Kevin Steen power bombs the man, steps through. Could we see the sharpshooter right here? We do. But can Kevin Steen maintain that move down that knee? He's got the sharpshooter cinched in. Matt Jackson slides back in the ring. Big boot, but Steen's still holding on to it. He refuses to let go. Generico, cross body, and they tumble all the way out to the floor. Sharpshooter still cinched in by Kevin Steen. Nick Jackson trying to fight out of it, trying to stay into the game, but... Oh, the bad knee of Kevin Steen. He couldn't hold it any longer. Forced to release the hold because of his bad knee. Matt Jackson stopped El Generico from getting in the ring and sends him into the guardrail. Kevin Steen back on his one good leg, trying to follow up. Package pile driver, can he get it? Can he support the weight of his opponent? Trying to get him up, he can't. Oh, he's got him! But Matt comes to his aid. Super kick on Steen. He's got the big man up. More bang for your bucket. Looks like they're going for it. Finley roll, 450 splash. Moonsault, cover. One, two, three, no. Only two, he got the shoulder off. No one's ever kicked out of more bang for your buck. Well, Kevin Steen just did. He's determined to pull out the win tonight. That's incredible. And now the Bucks thinking about what, what can we do to get the victory? Super kick. And again. Three. Four. Kevin Steen is crumbling. Firing each other up. Double super kick. Cover. One, two, three. They got him. <laughs> A combination of super kicks earned Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, a huge victory against two former World Tag Team Champions in Kevin Steen and El Generico. But despite that knee injury to Kevin Steen, he and Generico gave it all they had in that matchup. Surviving more bank for your buck. Able to get the shoulder up. Unbelievable effort put forth by Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen. And these fans here in New York City showing their appreciation for the efforts of Kevin Steen battling through injury to give them their money's worth here tonight. A memorable tag team battle here at Final Battle.
and the Mr. Wrestling chant goes up here in the Manhattan Center. Kevin Steen's asking for the microphone, Dave.
What the hell is he thinking? I can't believe this, Dave. I'm, I'm speechless. Cole Cabana in the ring asking the very same thing. What's going through the head of Kevin Steen right now? There's absolutely no reason to do that. Well, this guy is snapped. What is he doing? I have no idea. Kevin Steen, I don't know what's going through his head, but we need to check on the condition of El Generico right now. 